let's talk about everyone's favorite category, cheapies. I picked my top five cheapies of my collection and let's not waste any time. Let's go. In the number five spot, we have a fragrance that I have right here in my hand and it costs seven euros, which is like still, I think under 10 bucks or $10 for a 30 ml. I think it was 15 euros for 80 ml. So like $20. And I'm talking about Jenny Glow, wood, wood and sage, yeah, wood and sage. This fragrance, by the way, I want to show you guys something. Well, the cap is just plastic, it doesn't click into place, but it, it holds the fragrance. I don't know about the 80 mLs, I just got these right here, the 30 mLs, but the atomizers, look at this. That, that smells so beautiful. They have re really good atomizers and the smell on this one. I have already filmed a video about these Jenny Glow fragrances. I think I already uploaded that. The link will be appearing somewhere here. And I was blown away by these fragrances. They smell much higher quality than the price would suggest. You pay under $10 for a 30 ml. I know a lot of fragrance enthusiasts that hear the price point like ten dollars everyone's gonna think like oh that's a synthetic mess it doesn't smell good and so on the same with me i expected this to be a synthetic mess because i to be honest i bought it because i wanted to get free shipping and i had just a couple of bucks left and i just saw these fragrances and i was like you know what, let's give it a try. I was blown away by the smell you get from these. I have to smell it again. This one smells an aquatic, not too watery, but aquatic, marine and sweet. And a little, just a little tiny bit woody. This scent is amazing. Actually, this one smells a lot like this guy right here. Set Sail St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. This one is much more saltier than this. And it's, I think it's a bit more sweet and has that guava uh, touch or guava. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it has a more fruity touch and saltier touch than this. So if you don't like the saltiness in, on this one and you want something that lasts a lot longer, I think three times the longevity of this one you'll get with this because this one lasts like five to six hours on my skin and even after that you can still smell it a tiny bit just a tiny bit five to six hours for a ten dollar fragrance you can't beat that and the smell actually is amazing so this one i highly recommend i highly recommend the jenny glow fragrance as well i just tried these three that you can see these three but i'm gonna try more definitely i'm definitely gonna try more because these three just surprised the hell out of me so in that number five spot jenny glow wood and sage oh i forgot to mention that the jenny glow fragrances are copies of well let's say clones or dupes of joe malone fragrances joe malone is joe malone london is a niche brand and they have high quality fragrances and i don't think they can match the quality but they are truly great fragrances and for the price you're paying you will be more than satisfied next up we've got a fragrance that is perfect for the winter time well let's say fall and winter i think this one smells really good for the price you're paying i think i paid 15 to 16 euros something like that which is like 20 dollars and i'm talking about Oud Touch by Frank Olivier or Oliver Olivier, I don't know, but this one, this smells like Oud Rose. That's the main thing you get from this. Atomizer is decent. Yeah, you definitely get a lot of rose and you get the Oud. Although Oud isn't listed on Fragrantica, you get Oud, but you don't get that animalic Oud that like really stinks in your nose. This one is more refined. The rose is not that sweet. It's a floral nose. Floral nose? Floral rose. <laughs> but 
I think for the price you're paying for it, I think the price has gone up a bit, which is, it's it's like 25 euros now, and I bought it for 10 bucks less. I just wanted to say that I don't regret it one bit, but it's a complete opposite. I, I'm really happy about this one, even for the price. Well, because of the price and the scent you're getting. As I said, oud and rose fragrance, you could imagine that this would, it projects really heavy, really heavy, like five meters, you, you still get people in that mark well five meters that's a lot to be honest that's a lot i would say like three meters is a good way to go i guess but that's not the only amazing thing about this the longevity is amazing as well you get at least eight to ten hours out of this one well i i had days where i had eight hours i had days where i had over 10 hours with this one and as i said it's just 20 dollars so if you're looking to get your nose on rose and oud type of fragrances this is one i would highly recommend in at number three spot we have got a cheapy that can be anyone's signature scent this one is a bit more expensive i think it's the most expensive out of every every single fragrance in this list but it's worth it and it's not even expensive it's still very affordable i'm talking about Salvatore Ferragamo, Aqua Essenziale Blue. This fragrance, it, which is actually my scent of the day right now, it is not your typical blue fragrance. I've talked about this on my top five of my collection video, which is on my channel already. I think this one is a perfect signature scent. Anyone can wear this to any occasion. I don't, it, it doesn't matter if you dress up or if you're casual like me in a white t-shirt, this guy will do it all. It projects like a monster, it's room filling. Every single room you go into will smell like this fragrance and you don't even have to spray heavy, like five sprays around your neck is more than enough. The longevity is quite good for a blue fragrance. Well, it's fresh, but it also has a deepness to it, which gives it that strength to hold that long. It's obviously a lot of ambroxan is in it. It's also sweet, refreshing. It's just the perfect signature scent. It will last you about six to eight hours. This one will go around, I think I paid 26 euros, which is like 30 to 35 dollars. I don't know, I'm not sure, but it's something like that. And even for $50, even if you find it for $50, this one will surprise you. It's not your typical blue fragrance, as I said. It has depth to it with like the notes of patchouli, tonka bean, atlas cedar, ambroxan, all of that combined with bergamot, lemon and cardamom to give it that spiciness up top. This one is perfect, but I have to spray it just to smell it. Good atomizer, to be fair. Really good atomizer. And the cap is metal, is hefty, and clicks into place. So, Salvatore Ferragamo, Aqua Essenziale Blue, in the number three spot. In at number two, we have another freshie. This one is much better and much more suited for the high heat. A lot of people compare this to Invictus Aqua 2016, which I haven't smelled, but if it smells somewhat like this, I think that one is a really good fragrance. I'm talking about Davidoff Cool Water Wave. This fragrance, I got it in a gift set, so this one's a 75 ml. If this, I run out, out of this one, I'm definitely getting a 125 ml. This one, we all know, oh, damn, that's so... It smells like lemon, like a salted lemon freshness with aquatic notes like you you get a sea breeze but the fresh sea breeze not like with the fish in it and stuff it's salty lemon that came from the ocean just imagine that that's how this one smells the performance on it it's a freshie a real freshie so like four to six hours at best i once just once got six hours hours out of it you i typically typically get four to five hours which is more than enough for fresh fragrance but the salty vibe the aquatic marine vibes you get from this one it's just perfect for the summer for high heat if it gets like to 30 degrees this one is perfect. So as I said, if you're looking for a summer, like high heat summer fragrance, this is the best cheap year I think you can get. And yeah, I didn't expect it to be this good. This is my number two spot. Woody Sweet Vanilla. The next fragrance, the number one cheapie, I urge you to try or just blind buy it 
which is a perfect fall and winter time and even a bit colder spring weather fragrance which has a top note of maple sap which is unique enough a lot of woodiness in the base with sandalwood cedar and a lot of other woody notes with tonka bean amber vanilla this one is spicy sweet and woody i'm talking about cristiano ronaldo legacy private edition this fragrance with the beautiful rubber band around it and on the cap which is magnetic by the way this 30 ml costs 11 bucks in a local store i never bought this fragrance online but i definitely will get a 100 ml which is like 30 euros i think which is like almost 40 bucks 40 dollars i think this one smells amazing this is the one of the best fragrances i've ever smelled and i've smelled some niche fragrances and even them aren't as good as this one God, this smells so good. It smells so fucking delicious. The spiciness with the sweet maple syrup, vanilla, amber. For fall and winter, especially fall, this one is amazing. I had a test on Instagram the other week. It lasted on a work day 11 hours and wasn't that cold. It was like 15 degrees. It lasted 11 hours on my skin. It projects for the first four hours. It's amazing on my skin at least. The smell is so good. It's so fucking good. And for the price you're paying 11 bucks for for 30 ml and 30 for 100 ml damn <laughs> just damn so if you're looking for a colder weather fragrance and you haven't got one already or, or you're looking for a new one just get this please get this and let me know how you like it as i said spicy on at the top once you spray it, the first initial spray is spicy you get a lot of woods but once it dries down a bit you get a lot of that sweetness even if you get the 30 ml which is like as i said 11 bucks get this one and let me know how how you think or what your what are your thoughts on this one drop it down in the comments or hit me up on my Instagram page which is also linked down below in the description. I can talk about this for hours and hours but I'm gonna end it there. This is my number one spot Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy Private Edition. So that was it with my top five cheapies. I hope you guys enjoyed it and leave a comment down below. Do you know any of these fragrances? Have you tried them or do you own any of these? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends if they are looking for cheap fragrances. I've been Jano, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye.